What's going on, Ben? Welcome to the uh, the bike room, or version one of the new bike room in our new apartment. As you can see, it is a mess. Bikes all over the place, can barely walk in here. And uh, we're hoping to fix that. Bought some of these wall mount racks here, but these walls are super thin and can't really drill into them or anything. Bought a drill. So that's how you that's how you know you're becoming an adult when you start buying drills and getting excited about that stuff. Um, but yeah, we'll be building a bike rack. We went to the store earlier today and bought a couple pieces of wood, some two by fours. We don't have a car, so we hauled these over by bike. <laughs> I'll show you a quick little clip from that. We're really pushing the limits of this Mama Charity bicycle here in Japan, buying some wood for our new bike room. As for the design, this is about all we have so far. These are the dimensions. I have an idea of what I want to do in my head, but didn't really write anything down. We're just going to kind of wing it and see how it goes. The original plan is to get the wall mounts on the left side and then build a sort of table above some bikes where they can still sand regularly, horizontally here. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Really excited and uh, it's my very first time ever doing anything like this, so probably going to make a lot of mistakes, but oh yeah, I also bought a couple of tools from Amazon. So we got a, a cheap little saw here, a measuring tape, some sandpaper, some drill bits, clamps, and hopefully we don't need anything else. So let's get started with the project. Step one, clear out most of the main bikes and obstacles. And this is what we're working with. So the wall here, unfortunately we've got this little bulge coming out here so we can't go all the way to the top. So we gotta keep it within this little main area. Not sure how tall these wood pieces are, but we're gonna test it and hopefully it'll fit standing up against this wall. And of course, it's a little bit too tall. So that's kind of a little bit of a bummer, but I got my saw so we can cut this down a little bit. So I'm gonna have to cut it about three centimeters for each one. Really glad I bought these clamps. Finally got a chance to use them, so we're gonna test out this tiny little saw and see how well it works. That's not so bad, we can do this. All right, this thing seems to work. Cut it off, looks nice and smooth. Let's see if it fits on the wall. I'm gonna have to clean up later. And now for the ultimate test. Let's see. Perfect fit. So now we gotta do this for a few more of these, get them all the same height, and these will be where the hook mounts will be placed in, since I can't drill directly into these walls. So here we go. This is gonna be the base. Got two legs on it so far. Gonna add a third leg and some more support later, but next we're gonna get the, the wall arms up, or the wall legs up, and get that all attached now. This power drill is horrible. It uh, only works for about a minute and then it runs out of power. And I got two batteries, had them fully charged and they just didn't last at all. Bought it used, but gonna return it and hopefully we'll see if I'll get a new drill or just do it by hand. It might be easier. Whew, getting a little tired, but as you can see, the wall mount and support is mostly done. Need to add some more support, but we'll see how it looks so far. And on each of these four pillars, we're gonna place a different hook. So I bought a couple of these on Amazon, hooks on just like this. There's some cheaper ones that you can get as well, but these ended up being about a thousand yen or $10 each. So we're gonna place these up here. Each one of these will be adding one of these hooks and we're gonna test it out, see how it works. Things are looking a lot nicer. Added four different legs for support here. And we drilled in the first of the bike racks. So we're gonna see how it goes. The screws I covered with some electric tape so we don't get any residue from the metal or wood. So hopefully don't get any flats. 
Anyway, gonna pop this up and see if the bike fits. Kinda stable. <laughs> uh, might need to add some extra support to keep this from moving, but looks promising. And let's see if it works. Let's see. Still needs a little support, but we're in, we're in the right direction right now. Really liking how this is looking so far. Liking the potential. I'm gonna have a lot more space in here after this is finished. Got each of the hooks added on now. Gonna pop this up, test and see if the bikes fit on there and line up okay. Looking really good, lining up perfectly. Gonna cover each of these. We got the, the screws still coming in on part of the black here. So just gonna cover that with some electric tape like this, just so, just in case, prevent any unnecessary punctures. See the progress on the rack is looking really good. Gonna throw on the bikes and see if it holds. So, as kind of expected, the weight didn't hold with the two supports we had. I mean, just with that kind of these kind of leg supports, I didn't really expect the full thing to hold. But we started working on the extra support bridges. So, on the right side, you can see here, we started building an extra arm. But it's getting a little late tonight. We're running out of time, so it's getting too late. We can't run the power drill anymore. We're annoying the neighbors and doing the hacks on everything. So, so for now, we've got one support arm on the right. We're thinking to add another leg here, bring it up, go over here, make the top shelf area, and that way we'll have the support strong on the right side. It's a lot stronger now, so if we pull on this side, it's not really moving. But if you notice on the left side, we're still getting a little out of flex. But on the right side, we're not really getting much flex thanks to these support legs. So definitely need to make another one on the left side. But we're getting there. It's looking good. Plenty of space for the bikes to get hung up. But need to get some more wood the supermarket and we're making a mess. So postponed until the next day. project? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> Couple days have passed, been busy with work, no time to work on the project, but finally had some time to go to the store, get some extra wood, and we're gonna finish this project today, hopefully. Crossing our fingers, let's go. First thing, these first few legs that I made here did absolutely nothing. You can see they just move and don't really serve any purpose just moving up and down not even touching the ground right now since we added the support here on the right so we're gonna add a similar support of like this on the left reinforce this one a little bit and hopefully make this a lot more stable Second leg added for reinforcement here on the right side. Gonna slide in a bike here, place a shelf above so we can store some things above there and hopefully it doesn't interfere, we can still hang a rack over here since there's nothing pushing in down here. This is all in my imagination, haven't really fully tested it out yet, but I think it should work. Crossing our fingers anyway. Added some more support here on the right shelf area. Stole some wood. We had an old cupboard that we weren't using anymore, so stole some wood. Gonna use it as the platform here, and it's gonna be 
shelf. Not the prettiest thing, but it'll work. Now we gotta add some support to the left side, and hopefully that'll be one of the last steps. Man, this thing's a lot heavier than when we started. That's for sure. Went with the easier diagonal support beam here, so don't really have the luxury to add much more space with the one hook going here, but should still be able to get the bike in. And let's test it out. Here we go, final product. Perfect fit, and when I pull on this right side, barely any movement. Back before, there was a bunch of movement, especially here on the left side. So I'm pulling, there's no wiggle room. I think we're good to go. I'm gonna pop some bikes up on here. Before we put the bikes in, let's take a look at this beauty. This is awesome. All right, cleaning's done. Let's get these bikes on the rack. Starting with Suika Chan. Used to ride this bike back when I did the Taiwan trip. Unfortunately, haven't ridden it since then, just because one of the shifters is messed up and I just haven't had the time to fix it. Just been riding my road bike and mountain bike. Let's go get those and bring them in here. So next is the mountain bike. This is Midori Chan. Gonna put this one upright just so it'll be easier to get out. It's a bit heavier. But, yeah, no shaking, no sounds with the rack when I move it this time. Way better than the setup before. Next, we've got the track bike. So, single speed, less things to worry about. So, this one will go up against the right where it'll be rubbing a little bit. Over here, shouldn't be a problem since there's nothing to worry about. Nice, perfect fit. A little bit of rub on the wood and the frame, but nothing bad, nothing that'll hurt it. Just sitting up, rubbing up against it a little bit, but it's not moving, so it should be okay. Let's keep going. Next, we got Tuang's road bike, the Giant. This one's gonna go in reverse, wheel wheel first, but it's lightweight, so it should be easy to pull it out. Move it down, there we go. That's everything on the rack. We still got the space over here on the right where I'm gonna put my road bike. So let's squeeze that in there. Here's my bike, my road bike, specialized delay. This one's gonna squeeze right back here. Perfect fit. Let's take a look at how this looks. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Way better than before. You can see there's a lot of space over here between the bikes. We could we could move these a bit closer together, but we wanted them to be easy to pull out, so if we're in a rush, we can just quickly grab them and go. We didn't make the most efficient use of the room, but I think it's a nice combination of efficient and nice and spacious and just easy to work with. This worked just exactly as I thought it would. Plenty of room, no worries with the saddle. Slides right in there. We've got one of these other floor racks that'll keep it nice and straight. We could also lean it just against the wall, but these racks were only about $10, so bought one of those. Plenty of room up here, so I'm gonna put a box here with some cycling tools. All right, so absolutely beautiful here. Loving this picture. Really excited to have this now. Just gonna make everything a lot easier and can make more use of this room. As you can see before, this space was just all taken up the same horizontal space as this wheel and we've cut all of this space on this side of the floor so a bit more space we can use this room for and it just looks overall a lot cleaner. So I think I'll end this video here. This has been one of the most exciting projects that I've worked on in a long time. We finally just moved to this apartment. It's my first real apartment, my own place since ever since I first graduated college, went to grad school, lived in a dorm room and came here to work in Japan for a couple years and just been living in the company housing and which is just a single dorm room. So I finally have a place of my own. I finally have a nice place to store all of my bikes so they're not just all over the place and 
just really cool to make something on your own. It's not the most beautiful project, it's not the most polished, perfect project. Still really satisfying feeling to just go to the store and buy some wood and make some, have a design in your mind to just make it. So overall this didn't really cost too much. I spent about maybe $40 on wood, which isn't really a lot, and then on the drill bits, the saw, the clamp, and those other little parts were about maybe $20. Another big part I bought was the power drill itself, which I bought used at $50, but it was horrible. The battery didn't last long. It would only work a minute. I'd have to recharge the battery and wait every time. So I'm gonna be returning that and buying a different power drill. So if you have those tools already, really the only thing that's gonna cost you anything is the wood itself and also the hooks. So let's talk about the hooks. So these hooks were about $20 on Amazon for a pair of two. I bought two sets of two, so $40 for the hooks, $50 for the wood, another $10 for random other accessories. So all in all, this cost only about $100. You could probably do it for a little bit less if you have some of these materials lying around, you've got some spare wood. I could have made some more use of spare wood from some other cabinets I had, but they weren't two by four, so I wanted something with more stability. And so yeah, I think I'm just gonna end this video here. Thanks for tuning in. If you like the project, I'll add some of the specifications and some of the parts that I bought in the description below. And if you've made a rack before or something like this, you have any suggestions to make it better, leave some pictures, leave some comments down below and let us know on any ideas you have for improving this room. Anyway, really excited to share this with you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you here next time on Tuo Cruise. Let's see what Tuan thinks of the bike room. Wow! It's <laughs> good! Dana san Cruise is good. Cruise is good. Motto homete. Yes. Yes. Oh, I'm going to be there.